Good evening. We've just finished the state's assembly meeting for today, and so I want to give you what's going to be a short update on our test results to date, the current capacity within our hospital, and the supply of PPE, which I know is of particular concern to islanders. So we've now tested 2,220 samples for COVID-19 and received 1,919 negative results and 255 positive results. Of those with positive results, 42% are male and 58% are female. The average age of those who've tested positive is 54. And we are currently awaiting the results of 46 outstanding tests. 133 islanders have now fully recovered from coronavirus, having originally tested positive. 44% of those who've recovered are male, and 56% are female. Their average age is 46. And the number of islanders who've sadly passed away, having tested positive or been suspected of having coronavirus, presently remains at 14. There are currently 68 islanders being treated in Jersey General Hospital for a range of medical conditions, and of those, the number of coronavirus patients remains at 14. There are 129 beds currently available in the hospital, giving us an occupancy rate of 35%. Now, looking at the procurement of PPE, I want to emphasise that this remains an absolute priority of ministers and the government as a whole. We will not allow a situation where healthcare staff, carers and frontline workers cannot get the equipment that they need to carry out their roles safely. And the island received a large number of PPE consignments over the weekend, which has replenished and significantly enhanced the current PPE stock. Additional shipments have arrived and are scheduled to arrive throughout this week. And in order to accommodate this amount of stock, we're now storing PPE at three separate locations across the island as part of our resilience plan. And the Jersey Field Squadron is supporting Jersey's response to COVID-19 by assisting with the coordination logistics for PPE distribution. And the newly established portal is running well and is receiving daily orders from a wider range of organisations, including the private health sector, emergency services and health and community services. Over 200 orders have now been received and processed. And tomorrow at 3.30pm, subject to the State's Assembly, the Deputy Chief Minister, Senator Farnham, and the Assistant Minister for Treasury and Resources, Senator Gorst, will be holding a live press conference setting out the details of the second phase of our payroll co-funding scheme. And I hope many islanders will tune in through our social media channels. But thank you for listening tonight. Please continue to follow government advice, stay at home, and stay safe. Good night.